What's up, Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here with this week's episode of What's New TW. Hopefully you enjoyed some of our iCast coverage. If you missed out, make sure to head over to the website. We got tons of videos and tons of products that are starting to trickle into stock and some of them coming in for pre-order right now. Uh, you know, we got some more stuff that's trickled in from iCast and a bunch of stuff to go over. Uh, you know, we're getting into August, which is probably one of the hardest months out there to bass fish. Uh, I know some of you guys, you know, depending on where you live at, the heat is just absolutely brutal right now, and it's tough to get out there on the water fishing stuff, but great time to get out there and do some night fishing. Uh, but overall, just generally tough fishing. So have got a few things you can try out, maybe turn the odds in your favor a little bit. Uh, the first one, actually, new reel from Shimano. This just came out at ICAST. We just got them in the stock, so they're ready to buy now. Uh, the new Sedona spinning reel. Uh, I mean, there's so much to say about the Sedona series. Um, they're you know, more a budget-friendly spinning reel from Shimano, but but overall, just a high-performing, bulletproof reel. I mean, uh, I was thinking of the Sedona that I have, and I was adding it up, you know, what year did I buy that thing? I think I've had it for 12 or 13 years, and I absolutely beat it up. And, I mean, it gets, uh, it gets used for saltwater fishing and live bait fishing, trout fishing. I take it all over the place and, uh, and not easy on it, and it's still running just fine. So uh, there's a lot to say about Sedona series of reels. They're built super, super tough. So you're getting a really quality reel at a great price point. I believe they come in around 79 bucks. Uh, we have a bunch of different sizes. I believe we have them from like a 1,000 down to a 5,000. So depending on your style of fishing, what you're going after, there's probably something in that lineup for you. On the inside of the Sedona, it's actually got their Hagana gear which is Shimano's most high performance gear. And it's the same gear that they actually put in their Stella. So uh, pretty awesome that that technology has trickled all the way down from the Stella, you know, seven, $800 reels down to their budget friendly reels. So you're getting a premium gear. It's got silent tune technology. So I mean, incredibly smooth. Tolerance is super tight. And I can't say enough about how smooth this reel is. Uh, when you get it in your hand, it feels like it's gonna perform a lot better than a regular $79 reel. Uh, promotion, propulsion line management or propulsion line spool on there. Uh, really awesome reel. If you're looking for something, you know, uh, that's not going to break the bank, but it's going to last you a lifetime. You know, the one I've got, I've got over a decade of use on it. No issues. Uh, super smooth drag system. Just phenomenal reel for the price point. Uh, next up, we've got some soft plastics here. The first one is from Beast Coast. This is one we actually got some samples of a few months ago, and a few of us in the office have been trying out and they're super stoked about. This is the slow flow swim bait. Uh, so it comes in two sizes. This is the bigger of the two and they've got some really cool colors and uh, you know, just the detailing on this swim bait is awesome. So on the outside, you know, they've kind of molded it. They've put some, some details on there to really make it look like a shad. And uh, you know, when you get up close to it, you know, it's got those scales on there. It's got the fins. Um, and then this, this boot tail back here on the back, it's a little bit unique of a boot tail design. It's kind of squared off. So uh, it, you know, it kicks really well and this plastic is really, really thinned out. So they really designed this bait to fish it slow as the, you know, the slow flow, the, the name implies. So you can just slowly work this thing along the bottom, but you can speed it up as well, no problem. And with that tail design, it does get a nice little side to side body roll, just overall really cool swim bait. They have a bunch of really cool colors. So if you're looking for a finesse style swim bait, uh, you wanna fish on a ball head or just like a single jig head or umbrella rig, whatever you want, this is a good option. Uh, like I said, they got a bunch of colors and multiple sizes. Uh, another cool uh, soft plastic that we got here, um, one from Culprit. I'm a huge fan of the old school Culprit worms. I mean, I think I was fishing those things when I was you know, five, six years old. They came out with this new craw Nico worm, or Nico craw, shaken Nico craw. It's, there's a bunch of, bunch of names in there. So uh, the shaken Nico craw, it's, it's kind of a cross between like a finesse worm and a small craw bait. I mean, they call it a craw, but it's not a big craw body. It's super slim and you can do a bunch of different stuff with it. Now they, they say, you know, it's gonna excel at your, at a shaky head or a Ned rig or a Nico rig. Now, down here on the middle of it, there's a kind of an indention in the middle of the bait. So it's actually made to hold a, a an O-ring for doing a Nico rig. And some of the underwater footage of this thing is pretty amazing. Uh, if you head over to the website, there's actually a pretty sweet product video on um, uh, Dustin Wilkes explaining this thing, kind of the different ways to fish it, different ways to rig it, and uh, you know different applications for this bait. So it is super finessey. Like I said, right now is one of the toughest times to get bites. 
and sometimes downsizing and just slowing that presentation down. It does have a really cool profile, just like a really small crawl with those tiny pinchers, but it's not gonna kick and flap and do all kinds of crazy stuff. So the action that you're gonna get out of this bait is really gonna be from implemented by the angler. It's not gonna, it's not gonna kick all crazy on the fall. So however much you want it to move, you know, it's just gonna be how much you move your rod tip and twitch along the bottom. So super finessey bait, definitely wanna check that one out from Culprit. Some new line, this one came out at iCast as well. Yozuri Super Fluoro Leader Material. So Yozuri's been making premium fluorocarbon for a long, long time, and now they're offering this new Super Fluoro Leader, and they, they make this stuff all the way up to, I think, 300 pounds for the offshore, uh, the offshore fishermen, but we're gonna carry it in that six to 30 pound range, which is pretty much what most people are using for bass fishing, maybe a little inshore fishing. So this is 100% fluorocarbon material, um, it's nearly invisible to the fish. It's got a crazy abrasion resistance. Um, I mean, uh, Yozuri fluorocarbon, the guys have been using this stuff on the West Coast, especially in saltwater for a long, long time. And I feel it's like, I feel like it's one of those lines that goes kind of under the radar with, uh, with bass anglers kind of across the country. So if you need a fluorocarbon material, you know, you're getting a premium fluoro at a, actually a super affordable price point when you're comparing it to other floral leaders across the market. So like I said, six pound, we got all the way down to six pound, so you can use it for drop shot, stuff like that. But if you want to bump up to 30 and throw your big swim baits on it, doing braid to leader, you can do that as well. Or flipping, if you like to flip with a little short uh, floral leader, that's gonna be the way to go. And like I said, super, super strong line, uh, invisible, crazy abrasion resistance, so we're gonna be great flipping line. Uh, from Savage Gear, we got the new Manic Shrimp Ready to Fish version two. So a new model of their shrimp. Uh, so it's RTF ready to fish. It's got the uh, it's got the jig head kind of molded into the body. This is a really, really, really cool bait. It's made out of a Duratec material, so it's crazy strong. So it's got this kind of hinged tail or segmented tail. I mean, it looks just like a shrimp. And then it has a lip right there on the back of the tail. So as you're pulling it through the water, it's gonna, you know, swim and kick and uh, get some pretty crazy movements. But, you know, you would think that, you know, that's gonna be a weak point of this bait, but I mean, you could stretch this stuff and it stays locked together. So you don't have to worry about it getting ripped up, especially by inshore species with, uh, with teeth and they're just more aggressive fish. Uh, this is the biggest size that we carry. We have them in a bunch of different sizes, a bunch of different colors. And those guys over at Savage Gear, they design all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, we are hanging out with them at iCast and they're a bunch of, Die hard anglers that fish all over the country and they really uh, take the extra effort to go test this stuff and and design cool lures that catch a ton of fish. So this one's scanned, at, at the 3D scan of a live shrimp and then they kind of tweak it to get that action out of it. So if you do a lot of inshore fishing, especially down in that Gulf area, I know guys fish a lot of baits just like this. You want to give this one a try, you'll be able to catch a ton of fish and it's not going to get beat up because of how tough that material is. One thing we noticed too, when we threw it on the table, those sneaky guys over there, they put a little rattle in there, so we didn't even notice it had a rattle until we put it on there. So real subtle rattle, so it's gonna click along, make a little noise, you wanna take it across uh, rocks and grass and stuff like that. Uh, new kind of inshore bait, but I mean, you certainly use this in freshwater places as well. And those places with, uh, with brackish water is gonna be an excellent idea. Uh, from, from Snag Proof, we got the new uh, Smash Mouth Frog. Now I know uh, up on the California Delta, the Snag Proof opens coming up this weekend. So if you're needing some last minute frogs, you might want to snag a few of these. We just got them into stock. Uh, you know, in those tournaments, you can only use uh, snag proofs and I believe scum frogs in that tournament. So you want to get one of these for more of your open water application. So Smash Mouth, it has this big giant popping mouth on it, pops and sprays a ton of water, but it is a stoop, still a super wide body and it's gonna skirt across a mat really, really well. But then when, once you get it out in that open water, you can pop it and chug it kind of give you the best of multiple frogs in one. Uh, that hook, I mean, that hook is super mean and that's the kind of hook you want when you're out there, uh, you know, frog fishing because, you know, you catch big ones and then you're fishing around grass and heavy cover and you want a big mean hook in there to get a really good hook set with braided line, heavy rod and get them out and away from that cover. Um, this has got uh, Snag Proof's water evac system as well. So water doesn't get inside of it and then, you know, uh, or the, the water scoots out this little hole right here in the rear every cast. So you're not, you're not fighting with these ones like you, you would with maybe some of the old snag proofs. I fished some of the old snag proof tournaments and, you know, every few casts, you got to squeeze them on out. Uh, this one is not going to have that issue with that evac system 
all the water squir uh, squirts out of it on every cast. So you're not having to mess around and, and wasting time out there on the water, especially fishing a tournament in those six hour tournaments. It, you know, you have less time to, to fish out there. Uh, from Shimano, um, new bait from Shimano. Now this one came out at the Classic and we actually just got it in. This is the, uh, the World Rush Square Bill Crankbait. Now it is just an extension of, uh, of Shimano's you know, World Series of baits, but now in this wide body square bill. And you know, the first thing you're gonna notice is the inside, that reflection, and it's part of their flash boost technology. So it's a piece of foil that's inserted into the, inside, into the middle of the bait and it's suspended by two tiny, tiny little springs. And it, I mean, you can't even hold this thing still without that thing getting to move and shimmy. Uh, and one thing I noticed about this square bill, crazy wide wobbling action. So underwater, I mean, this thing rolls and flashes super hard side to side. So it's not gonna be like your more finessey tight wobbling square bill, that wide body and just the way that bill's fitted on there. This thing rolls side to side super, super hard. So I'm sure it's gonna put out a tremendous amount of vibration and it's gonna be really good for um, dirtier water applications because it's gonna, you know, it's gonna thump and push so much water around. But then I feel like it's also gonna be really good when you're in clear water situations, especially when you get them with that stop and go retrieve, because you can stop it. I mean, these we have phenomenal color patterns and then you're gonna get that secondary action of it shimming and it's not just a dead bait sitting there in the water. So kind of two actions in one, uh, you know, that Shimano's been putting this in a lot of their baits and just something that's unique and to help you catch more fish, especially on the pressured fisheries. Premium hooks on there, just one I'm super excited to try out, uh, you know, in, in dirty, but especially clear water. So um, from lure parts, we got a bunch of stuff from lure parts, bunch of jig heads, bunch of skirts, um, you know, replacement skirts and skirting material. So no matter what you're looking for, you know, if you just want skirts, you can get those. If you want the, the different colors of material, you can get those as well and tie your own skirts. And a lot of their skirts, they do a lot of three color blends. So it transitions colors twice throughout the, throughout the skirt material. So you're, gonna get, you're getting a lot more color and detail with these skirts. Um, instead of having to buy, you know, a few different colors and kind of blend them, you know, they're blending multiple colors and it's just gonna add a lot of depth to your skirt. So really cool skirt material. And then a couple of the jig heads we wanted to highlight are a part of the Bill Lowen series. I mean, I've seen Bill Lowen, I don't know, do well in I don't know how many tournaments and win a tournament throwing his own jig. So we got his finesse jig, kind of a modified Arky style head. Um, it does have a flat bottom on it. Uh, you know, Bill Lowen's done so well with own jigs and just the little details he puts into his is really awesome. That recessed line tie, you know, that short shank uh, Gamagatsu hook on there just keeps it up nice and tight. A really compact profile, a nice weed guard. It's small, but it still has, you know, it's pretty stiff on there. So you will be able to flip this thing in and around cover. And then the one that I'm actually most pumped about is uh, Bill Lowen's swim jig. Now I think Bill Lowen's probably one of the most well-known swim jig anglers out there on the professional tour and does really, really well with it. And then this is his swim jig design. We got it in three sizes. Um, you know, it kind of has like a triangle shaped head to it with that, that in, uh, vertical line tie that's, you know, half recessed in there into the head. So this thing comes through cover really well. If you've ever watched Bill Lowen on live, this is probably what he's throwing 50% of the time. And you can see how easily and effectively he fishes it up through shallow water cover. Um, it's got big eyes on it, which was a key feature for him. You know, having that big target and just, it's a little bit more realistic in the water. Big four odd hook on there. So you can throw it on floor, you can throw it on braid, no matter what you want. And you're gonna have plenty of, uh, you know, plenty of power to, uh, to get a hook set into fish. And it's not, it's not overly, it's not a big giant flipping hook. So you don't have to use a big heavy rod. So you can use, you know, medium heavy and fluorocarbon and get plenty of hook penetration. So if you wanna build some own, your own jigs, save some money, you know, these build loan jig heads are really awesome. And then all that skirt material from lure parts as well is, is really premium skirt material. Last up from Yum. Uh, we got a bunch of uh, these Mighty Bags. So there's a bunch of different styles. This is the, uh, the, the Yum Dinger Bag. And in this series, we have them in a bunch of different color offerings. This is the Clearwater Special. So it's a hunter pack of dingers, but they inside of it, there's four different colors. So you're not just buying a hundred pack of worms. I mean, you're getting a hunter pack, but you're getting a, a few different color options, which is really cool. And when you, uh, and you're saving a bunch of money. I believe these come in at $28.99. And uh, not only do we have the dingers, there's a swimming dingers, there's a Christie critters, a Christie cross, 
and some of their spine cross. So a bunch of their kind of best selling baits. You can buy them in these big hunter packs and they come with multiple colors in the pack, which is really cool. You just stock up on plastics and, uh, and save yourself a little bit of money. That's gonna wrap up today's episode of What's New Attack Wars. For more information, purchase any of the stuff seen here today, click shop or link to the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most excited about.